The 1.6 update changed the way the exotic, previously known as named weapons, work. Not only do they have their own rarity, indicated by the dark orange color stand, but most of them also have a reworked weapon tab. Before we start, we want to let you know that the information in this video is taken from the public test server for last stand, meaning that they can or could have changed. But let's just take a look at the changes the developers made to the 20 exotic weapons. Most of the exotic weapons have two random and one unique weapon talent. But some are equipped with a new feature. There are also exotic weapon sets, which you both need to equip to activate the weapon talent, similar to gear sets. Next to these talents, they come with three random talents. Let's start with the Assault Rifles. The Caduceus has two random weapon talents and the third weapon talent is called Caduceus. It heals the player and their allies for one for every critical hit you get with the weapon, making it ideal for any healer build. Next up is the Bullfrog, previously known as the Famas. Next to the two random weapon talents, it has the uncomplicated weapon talent. It increases the weapon damage by 15% when no accuracy or stability modifiers are equipped. So the only thing that changed is its exotic status. The Liberator has three random weapon talents, but when it's paired with the Centurion, it activates the Free Republic weapon talent. Each shot with the Liberator grants you a 5% increase in headshot damage for the Centurion with a maximum of 200%. Each kill with the Centurion grants you 10% increased rate of fire to all weapons for 10 seconds. The Urban MDR remains true to its old self. It's still equipped with the Distracted Weapon Talent. This increases the damage by 10% against targets with status effects, making it still the most effective in Firecrest and Incendiary turret builds. The Warlord is now equipped with Play Rough. This weapon talent reduces incoming damage by 20% when firing, but it's applied when you stop firing. Now for the submachine guns. The Hildir and Ayr, or Twin Valkyries. These are two variants of the Valkyria and the second exotic weapon set. Next to the three random weapon talents, they get the Valkyria weapon talent. The Hildir, still covered in its golden skin, gets increased critical hit damage by 1% for every hit up to 100%, but this decreases by 1% every second. But it has no critical hit chance. This is where Eir comes in. The Eir, now covered in a silver chrome skin, does have the regular crit chance. This means you'll have to swap weapons once in a while to use them efficiently. The Midas is equipped with the Midas weapon talent, but there is no description as of now. The Thompson M1928 has a carefree weapon talent, which increases the hipfire damage by 11% for this gun. The Tommigun, similar to the Thompson, has the carefree talent. And now for the shotguns. The Cassidy has a new unique talent, which is called Boomstick, which makes you double trigger both barrels in a short succession. So increased rate of fire. We quickly m wanted to mention that the Defiler has gotten no level or gear score, and neither a unique weapon talent, so it remains useless at level 5. The Medvet has undergone probably the biggest change, since it works different than before. Due to the unique weapon talent, it no longer has buckshot rounds. The unique weapon talent, Center Mass, makes it shoot heavy slug rounds instead of buckshots, concentrating all its damage in one big pallet. The Showstopper remains unchanged. It is equipped with the Showstopper weapon talent, which increases the accuracy the less shells are in the magazine. The Marksman rifles have gotten some changes as well. For example, the Historian is equipped with the History Repeats weapon talent, which makes each bullet embedded itself in the target while 
it detonates two seconds later for 20% of your skill power. This is very effective for any build based on skill power, like a healer build. Next up is the Tenebri, which has Lights Out as a talent, which resets skill cooldowns for you and your group members when destroying an enemy weak point. This is one to look out for in PvP, because it might break the game. The light machine guns have changed as well. The Hungry Hog is equipped with Gluton weapon talent. Killing tar a target increases your damage by 20% until you stop firing. Stacking is possible and advised. The Pakan has the Pakan weapon talent, how original. Each kill makes the next reload have 20% extra bullets compared to its base magazine. And finally the sidearms have some changes applied to them as well. The Centurion is of course paired with the Liberator like we talked about earlier in the video. The Damascus is equipped with a unique quick draw weapon talent. It increases the damage by 20% for 2 seconds when the weapon is drawn. And now also the Golden Rhino is an exotic weapon. Its unique weapon talent, Golden Rhino, increases stagger by 200%. And it is the only talent it has. Hopefully we provided you with all the information you wanted on the exotic weapons and their weapon talents. If so, please consider leaving a rating in combination with some constructive feedback so we can improve our content. Any questions can be asked in the comment section and same goes for any comments. Thank you for watching and we wish you a great day, week, month, year and life.